John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. Well, I'm excited about another broadhead test today, and man, this is gonna be a good one. It's another one, a new one, by Iron Will. I've been testing Iron Will broadheads since they first came out. When I was in Colorado, I got to know Bill, the, the designer uh, of them, and we've talked so many different times over the years about their design. They just keep putting out incredibly high quality gear, like from the broadheads to their knives to all the different uh, arrow accessories and so forth. They really do a great job. And this is a broadhead that they're just now releasing that I've been waiting for for a while. It's the wide and it's a single bevel. So they came out originally with a double bevel and then they came out with a double bevel wide. Then they came out with a single bevel and everybody was like, are you gonna do a single bevel wide? They're like, ah, oh, maybe one day. Well, now is the day. And so I'm really eager to put this head to the test and see how it performs. I'm gonna be uh, using my protocol for 2023 and you can watch a video about that that I released earlier this year that's just called Broadhead Test Process for 2023 or something like that. Or you can read about it in the description box right below this video and you can also see uh, each of the scores in how it performed in all of the tests the price the total cumulative score and so forth in that description box I'm gonna be using my Bowtech CP28 set at 72 pounds I'm using Bishop FOC King arrows for most of the shoot shooting uh, but then I'm gonna use the uh, the Bishop fat eliminator for the really hard impact shots so let's check out this iron wheel wide single bevel and put it to the test. This is a really cool looking broadhead here. Man, iron wheel doesn't fool around. I say it every time, but when you take these things out of the package, you know exactly where your money went, okay? They are just extremely well made. And I've always loved the wides, and now finally a single bevel wide. So let's go through some things about it. First of all, the, the materials, it's all made out of A2 tool steel. And if you're not familiar with A2 tool steel, it's a really great steel for a broadhead application because it can get very hard with the right cryogenic hardening process and they do that to bring it to a Rockwell hardness of 60 which is fantastic for edge retention and sharpness but then with a2 you're also getting a great impact resistance about I think it's about double uh, what it is in a typical stainless steel it's less than say an s7 tool steel but still much better than the vast majority of steels that are out there so it's a great combination of all that with the steel and then in terms of the blade thickness you have 0.062 inch thick blades and bleeders which is really nice for a wound channel as well as durability you see that it's single bevel sharpened all around uh, and on the back as well as even these uh, these bleeders are single bevel sharpened at I believe it's a 32 degree bevel so a good balance of maintaining sharpness as well as generating some torque in that rotation as it penetrates. You notice it has a really cool tanto tip to give it extra durability there. The dimensions of the wide, uh, just like the double bevel model, are one and three eighths inches in the main blade and then three quarters of an inch in the bleeder. So the total uh, cut is two and one eighth inches. Really nice size cut. I've always liked the wides for that. And then in addition to that, you're going to get some rotation which with this uh, this extra diameter here and that flare, I imagine you're going to get some pretty decent rotation in the thickness and the bevel angle and so forth, but we'll have to, have to test that. This is 150 grains because they wanted to keep the blade solid. They can save some weight if they, if they made them cut out and vented, but I'm glad at least in this model they kept it solid. So all solid is going to make it quieter in flight and, uh, and it's going to make it a bit more durable. So really cool broadhead eager to put it to the test and see how it performs It took 175 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 10 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated right at eight inches. I know it may not look like that, the way it's lined up with the camera and everything, but that's the actual measurement, eight inches.
It didn't take any additional force to cut through the wire, so that gets a 10 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated through 53 layers. It rotated 38 degrees at 10 and a quarter inches. It's in perfect shape after three shots through the MDF. So here it is after the two shots through the steel plate, and structurally, it held together very well. And look at those holes in the steel plate. I mean, really nice, classic S-cut holes, both with the main blades as well as the bleeders. That opens up a really nice wound channel that's going to be hard to close up. Uh, it did experience a, a bit of edge chatter, and that's because, you know, that 32-degree bevel, it's really good for cutting. It's super sharp. Um, but it does uh, create or, or allow a little bit of edge shatter on a super hard impact. It's not much, but each of the four blades uh, experience some edge chatter there. So here it is after all the durability tests. Went through the MDF three times, through the steel plate two times, and then cut a chunk of the concrete off. And man, it held up really well. I was a little concerned hitting at an angle like that or, or veering as it cut through the, uh, the concrete that it would have bent. But man, it didn't. It held up extremely well. The only signs of damage are from the steel plate where there was a bit of edge chatter on, uh, on all the blades, on both of the main blades as well as on the bleeders. But um, man, the, uh, the concrete, it just did extremely well. Really impressed with the durability here. So what'd you think? Man, this is an excellent broadhead. Everything Iron Wheel puts out is just excellent from their vast array of, uh, of broadheads. I mean, they've got a couple different sizes. They've got solid and vented. They've got single bevel and double bevel. Um, but, th but then they also have components, aero shaft components, and, and, and then they've got, uh, they've got knives. And everything they put out is just top, top quality. It's not cheap. But again, like I said in the beginning, you don't wonder where your money went. You, you get what you pay for. And man, this head is no exception. It performed very, very well. So you check out the score sheet and see how it did in the areas that matter to you the most and see if it might be a good fit for you. But I say excellent job, Iron Wheel. Keep up the great work. Look forward to taking down more animals with your broadheads.